I'm good, 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 good. Chilling, chilling. And you are an entrepreneur, actor. Tell them about yourself. Ah, uh, I'm an actor from the island of the Caribbean of Antigua. And um here residing in the States. They see my whole family is either from New York or Antigua. So I'm here in the acting world doing my thing. You know. Um just relocated from New York to um, Nevada. Um, we get change, wanted to be closer to the West Coast, LA, San Diego, you know, checking out life. Okay, so. That's about me. <laughs> what, so I said entrepreneur and actor, so tell them some of the things that you did in your career, as well as model also. Let me, I forgot about that. Yeah, um, basically, yeah, I, I, I was doing runway model, and I kind of fall back on that a bit. I do print model more now, um, but you could say I am fully branded as an actor. Um, that's where the passion is. That's where my heart is, um, such as uh, being a Jamaican assassin on power, um, featuring on Law and Order, The Blacklist. Uh, person of interest, you know, down the line, just to name a few of what I have um, accomplished on my own while taking on that adventure. I uh, came from a musical background on the likes of my brother, Baja Jet, um, my cousin's band, Burner Flames, number one band in the Caribbean. Uh, yeah, you know, from uncles making steel pans and stuff like that. So I just came from an all-around talented family. And when it comes to craft and designing furniture and stuff, I have my brother Stalin that's very talented in that area. So, um, yeah. My mom, since your James ain't raised a lazy man, you can say that. The yeah. go-getters. Absolutely. Classy too yeah. as well. Very classy. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what is something that you what is your goals for 2017 and beyond? Uh, you know, I haven't set a New Year's resolution for this year. Um, the last three years, I push everything I set my mind to. And this year is just to really get into the, the box office. And that's my goal for this year as a supporting role. Uh, maybe even principal, but I will be good with a supporting role or even a nice feature. And that will be my target for 2017 coming up. Um, I do have some projects that I'm working with, um, such as Fusion the movie. Uh, that's to start taking production in March coming up. So, um, you know, working on those stuff along the line and along with my brother, um, D Tech from Comedy Music. Um, and alongside the Adams production, Adam and Tiga as well. So we working on some stuff, stuff coming up and just networking. That's all I can talk about right now. Well, tell me if someone wants to be an actor or a model, how will they go by doing that? You gotta, you gotta, get out, you gotta network. You gotta dip and dab, but at the same time, don't spread yourself too thin because you will lose focus on another. If you focus on one, it's all entertainment, it's all connected. So you focus on what you really want to accomplish and what you want to be, the others will fall into place. And I notice some more growth when I just start concentrating on one thing and putting your all to it, and the others just come along and falls into place. Because as I said, it's all networking. It's all the same, same circle. As you see with the, back in the day, used to be sag Afro. Now it's sag Afro. You know, the music and the movie, the entertainment business, it's all together. So, um, for example, if you are a runway model, it might need some, model looks to be in a movie in the background or something so it all it all goes goes favor favor 
from each other. So tell me about the movie you Ah? Tell me about this movie you were saying this it starts production. Did you say it was Fusion? In March? Yeah, Fusion. Yeah, it's basically a movie about, um, yeah, I go again. It's two different worlds coming together. The music world and the acting world coming together and see how it works hand in hand. Yes, of course, there will be some drama and some scandalism stuff. The ironic to it, I can't get that secret away, but it's both worlds coming together and making a force and creating an empire of growth you know and the reality behind it as well it relates to a lot of people in the industry and outside the industry those who's trying to get it and those who's already in and you know stuff like that to see how things work and break it down so yeah it's a force to be right now with it does it have a set date to come out yet uh that it's not finalized as yet, but all I do know production do start in March. Okay. Yeah. Well, tell me about you being on the set of Power, a new sitcom that everybody's going crazy over. But me personally, I'm a Law and Order fan, okay, too. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not saying I don't like Power, I did like Power, but mm-hmm. me, I am addicted to Law and Order, okay? Like, every day. So, that's, I'm a big fan of that. So tell me, how is it how, how much have you seen of Power? I've seen like the first and some of the second season. Well, you need to sit and watch all of it. And I guarantee you that we will take your heart from Law & Order. I, 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 love, I love Law & Order though. But I do love <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. Power, power is, is you know, with you don't have to tell me I was addicted to I'm addicted to it. It was it was actually pretty awesome. It's constantly like on your toe drama. Like it had me like stressed out every time I was watching it. Yeah, it, it, it's like that, you know? And it also relates to to everyday life as well. I mean fifty cent Courtney, you know, they're good producers, good writers. Um, SK Booker, yeah, they're good writers. Um, actors, Omar, um, Joseph Sakura, uh, Natari, they're great actors. And being on set around around them, it's you, you, you think you're going in there and you are like really small, but they look at you as an equal, like, because the comfort, they set a tone, they set an atmosphere. And that's why things come off so great and the, the acting is awesome and you know, they relate, they joke, when it's time to work, we work. Um you get the best. You get the best out of them and you feel real comfortable, you feel like you belong there. It's not that oh I'm bigger than you and it's not. They don't give you that vibe, it's all love, you know, and basically just being in the same room as 50 Cent, that just motivates you. Like, just motivates you, even if you're not having a conversation, just seeing how they operate and work. It just motivates you when you need to just go harder, go better, you know, be better at everything that you put your mind to. It's just like you leave a, um, <clears throat> what you call it, a, a mentor's um, meeting or something. And we came out with that that energy, that vibe to like really get it. That's how I feel when I I'm on the set of power. You know, it's just great. All up. All up. I, I can tell that that you guys probably just joked around the whole time, just had so much. Uh, Say that one more time. I know you guys probably joked around the whole time. Just had a ball. Del? Oh yeah, you have you have to make it fun. You have to you can't no tension, you know. Work on the PAs, the uh, the directors. They just make you feel, you know, like you belong there, you know, and not act shy. I'm a shy person, believe it or not. I am shy, 
but you know, sometimes what? we get, get out of here. I am. <laughs> I'm a shy person. A lot of people don't believe that, but you know, it's just you gotta know when to speak and when not to. You know, you just watch your surroundings and see how you're accepted and instantly when we walk on it's to- it's acceptance. Like the love is great, you know. Um you go on, you do what you gotta do. <clears throat> it's either you do what you gotta do or get somebody else take your spot. So you go do what you got to do. Forget about the being embarrassed. Maybe sometimes you think and you're embarrassing yourself, but that's what they want to see. So you just go in and you let it all out. Do what you got to do. You know? So okay. just have fun with it. It's all, yeah. All right. Getty Down Radio. Jumping off the porch, heat it up just like a pot. Watch out how my verses scorch on my book. Never put, but I grind out to the skin. Run your city. Uh, I got cannabis, cause dreams. I smoke on the fat trans. I sound with an OG. I woke up in Kush Lane. I got cannabis, cause dreams. This is my cannabis cup dream. I got cannabis cup dreams. Woke up in Kush Lane, smoking on OG, mixed with a couple strands. Do it all with the friends. Thank God for my supplier. I wrote up on Instagram. They take you with wax. I yeah, I'm steadily rolling these niggas and keep it up. At 17, I wrote an OG and I played it all up. A couple niggas in the airport. This is the takeover. GettyDownRadio.com Okay. All right. Now, I wanted to touch back again on the set of power so you can kind of enlighten because it was not as... I want to make sure that was clear to our viewers how it emphasized and how it could have motivated you um, just to get up and handle your business. Um, basically being on the set of power, it was fun. Um, they, you feel welcome. Um, it's not like they look at you in an outcast because you're not as big as a celebrity as the main cast members. 
um, you know, they set a tone and atmosphere to get the best out of you and the best reaction on the camera. And not only just for the camera, but it's like an instant friendship, you know, um, you feel fun. It's like just being there, being around Omar, being around Joseph, being around Tori, being around 50 Cent. It just gives you a motivation to go harder, be better. Even if you're not in a full-blown conversation with them, just being in the same room and seeing how they operate and just go at it to make sure everything works fine. And you, you want a piece of that as in like, like plain hearted want to be a part of such great greatness, you know, of me and the executive producers. You know, so it just motivates you to just be better and I feel comfortable, I feel at home. Like, as I said, this is my calling, like I belong. And when you need to just go harder, harder at it. Um, you know, and it also, the tone that they set just brings it the best production to the views. That's why I was number one in ranking views right now. You know, breaking records. Um, but they put stars on their back. And, you know, just up to yesterday, having a conversation. And when I go get my manicure, you know, um, how many of the, the stylists just subscribe to stars for the three months and then just cancel it after the season is over just to watch power, you know? So that that's something that's really, really good that they are doing what they got to do. And great actors, man. You got to love them. Joseph, great people, great people. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's go back to also how about SWS, or Law and Order? How do you feel about uh, that? Or any Law and Order, Law and Order, um, Marissa, Ice T, they're good people. Um, they work. When it's time to work, they work. They get down to the business, and they are very talented. They don't take much takes, like after takes, after takes, like messing up. No, they go in, they know what they're doing, and be out of there. One time is the quickest I've ever been on set. Um, normally, a scene that would take like five, ten hours. I was out of there within a half an hour because that's how quick that they nailed it on the point. You know, so. Hey, great work, I see he gives you advice, you know, and don't be scared to talk to him, like, he's really cool, you know, when, when he's in his downtime, he would take a little time to talk to you, you know, say what's up, and give you a little advice here and there, like, you know, it's all about keep going, you know, but at the same time, don't keep going where your health is in jeopardy, you know, you gotta take a rest once in a while, regroup and come back. You know, um, many people have that as team no sleep. No, me, if you want your success to last longer, and this is me personally, if you want what I would say, if you want your success to last longer and not burn yourself out, I'm saying you gotta take it at five minutes of sleep. Sometimes when you take that five minutes of sleep, the thought might come to you and you just keep going. You get back up and you go again. You know, so you need that energy to stay focused. Just like people say, you eat, you have to eat breakfast in the morning to function properly. You need, you need, you need a couple of minutes for yourself at the same time. You know, the success will last longer. You live longer. This, you know, it's just that when you go at it, you go hard. Um, yeah, I gotta shout out my mom. You know, she always curses me when I get to mention <laughs> my shout out my mom, Cynthia James from It's Tita. Um, all saints. <laughs> um, I also want to shout out, um, my good, good friend. I call him my brother, um, Jason Price, who, um, out here in, um, Las Vegas, Nevada, the best car dealer, 
detail in person you can go to. And he working on this product coming out now, the last detail. Um, and his wife um, just started her own clothing line, LiveVain. Um, just LiveVain.com, L-I-V-E-V-A-I-N. Down radio.com. This is the takeover.